All right, we're in the coffee shop for another coffee shop session, and let's make some music. When I start these, I have no agenda, nothing planned. I'm literally just opening this up and working along with it with you guys. Why don't we pull in Mojito? It's not my favorite sounding synth, but sometimes it just sounds really good if you just get the right effects going on with it and the right attack. Like, I think it attacks too low. And let's bring the release down a notch. And need to cut off down. Okay, I think we could do something down here in the lower notes. Why don't we do that? So let's set the tempo. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. And let's go. Dun, dun. Oops, this one here. Let me make sure I'm recording here. Yes, I am. All right. So dun 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 dun. So that it's dun 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 dun. metronome in there because I'm way off. <coughs> All right, so let's bring this over here. Getting there? And I think we got it here. And let's bring in now, let's bring something out of presence. <clears throat> Damn, I don't know what's in my throat. Sorry, guys. All right. So something really pretty sparkly. What's this? cheesy but I don't know kind of cool and why don't we bring in something else here and just do a chord um, I guess I've been feeling a little electric piano-y lately and let's just pull in an A minor chord it's a little loud let's lower the volume Just throw some notes up here for flavor. All right, I'm getting something interesting. So let's bring a beat in now. And for beats, I have been going in the loops lately and just going to drums and trying different genres that shouldn't fit in the kind of music I'm doing. Like, let's just try dubstep and see what we got. That totally shouldn't fit, but let's see how it fits. Oops. All 
All right, maybe we'll keep this. No, it's just one, just one hit. Well, let's keep it, and uh, I'm gonna mute it for now. But let's see how far other drum beat fits in there, and then we could probably use this maybe. So I'm just gonna mute it for now, <clears throat> but keep it on deck. All right, I don't think dubstep's the the genre we want. Um, how about folk? Let's see how it sounds at 147 BPM. And yeah, let's do loop. And let's see what we got here. Interesting. Not found in finding anything great yet. Latin? Let's see what we got. I'm going under full or loop just to get the full drum loop. <laughs> that might be interesting. Let's try. It's wacko, but now let's bring in impact and just put an end to all this madness. <clears throat> so let's go and just try the Detroit kit. No, I'm not a fan. Let's try dope kit. All right, let's do that. And let's just put a drum, uh, kick and snare in there. And uh, I'm going to use, use pattern, I think. I go to event, instrument parts, insert pattern. And let's just see what we come up with here. So we go. Dun, 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 dun. It's wild, it's wacko. All right, I kind of like it, very different, you know? And let's just uh, check the mixer and let's see if I'm blasting you guys out, which I normally do. So I'm just gonna put a limiter on and see how bad I've been being. So uh, let's just see what we got here. Yeah. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do now is, I mean, these, these instruments up top definitely need some effects, but let's just put in like a kick-ass bass line going from my tie. And just a real quick one that goes along with the hi-hats. So, 
take the reverb off that and a little bit of the uh, release off that. All right, cool. Let's just, let's just check that out. So let's just do a running bass line on the A. Neat. All right, I like it already. Get out of there, man. I want that thing to stop showing up. All right, let's see what we got here. It's pretty cool. I want to side chain this bass here, or this bass guitar synth. What am I talking about? I want to side chain the bass synth using the kick from Impact. So let's hit F4, pop this open, throw a compressor in, and let's do a side chain from Impact. And. I think it will just do the kick. Let's let's check what happens. Yeah. All right. It needs work, but at least it's interesting and it's something we can mess around with. So why don't we just, uh, let's do one of my favorite things and just put some effects channels in here. So let's put a reverb and a delay. And let's see if we can make this sound a little more professional. <clears throat> so we got this guy. All right, so let's put something on him. And how about this guy? Try this one again. Oh, way too much effects on there. There shouldn't be that much reverb. Oh, I put the reverb on there. That's why. Let's get that off of there. Yeah, we we shouldn't have bounced that. I think that's the big problem. Bring an arpeggiator in on this guy and just go a little crazy.
I have no idea how it's going to sound. There's only one way to find out. And let's, before we do that, let's pick a Wacko preset, maybe like Poly Arc 4. Take off the effects, bring down this, and just here. I think it came out pretty good. Not gonna lie. So maybe we could put some effects back on. Bounce this again now that we took the reverb off and see what we could do. Splitting it at the grid. <clears throat> Let's see if that tightened things up. Not my best beat, but hopefully I gave you guys some ideas what's going on. And uh, I promise I'll do better tomorrow. <laughs> See you later.